Hi, my name is Alec Callahan, and this is my project, A Look into Spanish Healthcare Through the Lens of Myocardial and Dietary Caused Diabetes Research. So here's more about me. Um, my ITP language that I chose was Spanish. I'm majoring in biology and minoring in chemistry and psychology. I picked the host country of Spain and in particular the city of Zaragoza. The university I attended was Universidad de Zaragoza. And the internship I had the opportunity of working at was a shadowing program at the Joint University Hospital, Yale Severitz Hospital. I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this internship. It began in March and ended in June. I started off with an opportunity to shadow a close colleague of my mentor. She worked in the internal medicine department and was conducting a partnered research project of myocardial infarctions. She focused particularly on high cholesterol levels, LDL, which is a bad cholesterol, HDLs, a good cholesterol, and triglycerides. The doctor, a resident, another university student, and myself would also down on patient consultations to gather possible candidates for her research and above all assist them with their needs, their original uh, needs for being there. She made sure to ask them about their diets and their lifestyles to better understand them as well. And then afterwards, she would give them advice and see if they were a possible candidates for her research. Finally, um, we would all go check on her non-candidate patients in a different wing and they had a variety of ailments ranging from esophageal collapse to lung cancer to even one of them that was in the psychiatric thing, which personally was my favorite, getting to see a range of different patients and through her field perspective. Um, and I have to say that was probably the most interesting part. And one of the reasons why I chose this internship was so that I can get on a more hands-on, like face-to-face, um, perspective of the Spanish healthcare system. Afterwards, uh, for about a month prior to leaving, I went down to the laboratories to assist my mentor on her diabetes research. She wanted to see if there was an influence on diabetes um, from animal-based diets compared to plant-based diets. She made sure to include not only a patient, but the patient's families as well. And um, she took a base sample, and then we would take a three-month sample and a six-month sample. All of this data was then combined and compared to see a difference between plant-based versus animal-based diets and their influence on diabetes. And then after all this uh, concluded, uh, my internship ended and my time in Spain ended as well. Uh, I would actually say that I really enjoyed my time there and expanding my cultural awareness of the people, um, expanding my language and linguistic capabilities and overall creating a great experience um, for, uh, for my time there. I really en uh, enjoyed seeing and working with professionals and communicating with friends and making new colleagues. Overall, it was a great time. And I would say to anyone to take the opportunity to both study or work abroad. And going off of that, I would like to give some takeaways. Uh, prepare for your time abroad, which something I wish I do before going uh, be abroad. Um, to communicate and create an ever-expanding network to utilize at home and abroad, it was very useful. It made my time there uh, enjoyable, fun, and overall like a really great time. And then finally, again, enjoy your time there. Since it's a limited time and it's special time, it's a, something that you'll remember forever. I think, yeah, enjoy your time in your host country. And I'll see you guys all at the summit. Thank you.